Hello everyone, it's Anne from Anne's Paper Creations and welcome back to part 2 on how to make a um, shipboard doghouse. And in this part I'm going to decorate uh, this a bit uh, more. Uh, I already glued down the pattern paper here, so it takes a lot of time to, to measure and glue this down, so you don't have to watch that all. So I just cut it all to size to fit here, but I will show you as we go here um, uh, what I used and so. So we can maybe start uh, on the roof here. Here I cut out um, from the 12 by 12 paper and I glued down most, not this, I will glue that down later in the video. And we're also going to decorate it a bit with uh, some flowers. And on the top here, here I uh, put down a strip of black paper just to finish it up. I can show you how I did it. So I cut a strip of paper that is 2 inch. And then I scored at one inch and then folded it like so and then scored at one eighth of an inch down all the way. That's uh, so the album can fold in the top so it can maybe put on some uh, stripes here you can see. So now I'm trying out my new scoreboard. I got it yesterday with from Scorpal, it's the one eight uh, inch um, score marks all over, and I really love that. So, hope you can see here. So now this can fold back and forward on the top here. So, put this out of the way and show you because uh, it was a gap in here because of the folding. So I wanted to, to have it uh, in an angle like so. So then I glued this on and left this one eighth of an inch on top here. So it can be folded, the album. So when the album folds it will fold on this. I will show you that later when we take it off on this eighth of an inch score line. So I didn't have any glue inside here, just glue down on the sides. And uh, I also used a decorative uh, punch that I used on the album also, around here. And I can show you a bit, if you don't have this punch or want to, to buy it, you can make a decorative border yourself. You can use any kind of uh, uh, punches uh, you like around here, but I can show you a bit. So here I scored at uh, one and a quarter. And then you can make the pattern you, you want. You can have... Uh, like so if you want and cut it out or you can make the same pattern as here with um yeah I'm try I'm not any good at drawing and find the half mark here so then we take a small one and a big one so a small one again and a big one. Or you can make, um, I can show you on the other side, just uh, make some like this. Yeah. Try to do it a bit too precise so they are all the same. So can maybe show you cut out one of them here. be a bit more precise than I was here so it's just for showing you so then you get yourself a template that you can draw after on your paper so and uh, when you put this together in an angle in the corner it doesn't meet up <laughs> it didn't for me anyway so then if you have an angle uh, like so so you glue them together and then I just put some glue on uh, here each other so it's overlapping and then I just followed 
the border around on each side here and then turn it around and cut from this side here so then it will be a nice uh, finish on the edges like so so then we can maybe move down a bit and I'll tell you what I've done here so I can show you when we fold this up now you can see this sticks up this eighth of an inch so then we can take the album out so, so here you can see it from the inside how the border looks so here you can see the inside and this uh, here I haven't glued down yet so that we will do later so and yeah, I can maybe tell you what I did here just uh, used the same border punch around here and uh, glued this pattern paper over and I also took a uh, black uh, paper behind here I just cut the strip that was the same width and put it in and cut around and then you cover up this space behind here where it doesn't meet up because we glued this piece here on the inside of this so then you cover that up so then we can take uh, this house off and the way I um, uh, make uh, the measurements for the inside here I just uh, cut it to size so can we maybe find a piece of paper and cut it to size inside like so placed it there and then I just took some draw marks around here and then you get it precise and the same you can do for the outside and I cut it a bit wider so this isn't wide enough and went from this side and cut around so then I just cut the paper after so when we take it inside be sure to take the pattern paper out and the inside of the paper this way here so so here I used the 12 by 12 paper and I did on the outside here also and here I didn't have enough so I just glued on a couple of uh, flowers and uh, here is a fold out window so see it's a cut out maybe glue that on the top later see so this uh, folds out with a photo mat so I will show you on the other side how to make this so it's fastened with uh, magnets so this here I have a hinge inside but you can also just uh, make it without the hinge and uh, just have it magnetized and and you can take it off if you like to. So that we will do for this side here. So here is uh, the bottom and here I glued down this uh, pattern paper first and then I uh, glued this on top. And here I think I forgot to glue this down, yeah, so that I have to do later. You can see it now, I have to cut it off a bit I think. So yeah, and the used uh, here is from the 8 by 8 I think I used here. Yeah, and all the others are from the 12 by 12. So here I took the strip from the paper, and uh, the same I did around here. And when I went around here, um, I cut a, a strip of black paper. I'll give you a close up here. So and just folded it around and. Yeah, so uh, this is the black pastel paper and then I glued this strip on and uh, then I glued uh, this feet on with uh, E6000 and it can be a bit hard to glue them on so my, I took it this way first and I glued them on and then I took a rope around and then I, it's hard to get that um, um, so it's very, very tight so then I put something inside here of the road so I will put off a picture of it now so hope you got a good laugh of it so and I also took this pattern paper here and if you see on the, the bottom here here I just snipped in with my scissor before I glued it down and snipped out a strip and I glued it on the top of the drawer here so in here I just snipped it off and cut it off and I also went around with this strip inside here and here you can see the drawer and here I used a metal door pull 
so. And uh, see if we got to uh, to um, paint uh, this bread, so I will do that later. And I just lined it up with uh, some black paper inside, and this is from the 8x8. It was from the same as this one. And I also took one black paper on the back, but I haven't done it inside here. I have a loose one here, but it builds up a bit uh, much. So I don't want the drawer to stick up, I want it to lay flat into this, so I, I think I just will leave it like so. So then I think I've told <laughs> all I've done. So then we can start with um, with uh, making uh, the uh, window. So I can take this out of the way and this one. score lines and again I will put these measurements on up on my blog so you find the link below the video just uh, click show more and uh, all the links will pop up so this is cut at 12 by 3 and you need to score it at 3 6 and 9 and then uh, the middle part you can score on the other side if you like to so, so then you fold it like so This is the fold out for the window and inside each of uh, these here I also used uh, this uh, electric tape so I'm sure it uh, won't tear if uh, children are looking at, and it, at it and it can be tear when it pulls out so, so I took one inside here and I took one here and one here and I also took inside this hinge that's going on the end here. So here you can see how it looks, and it's a V-fold like so, and the hinge on the side here. So then we can move this out of the way, and maybe you can see the electric tape here. I'm not sure it shows up, maybe, on the back side, inside here. So we are going to place some magnets inside here, and here I already placed two. I think I want this a bit more from the side, here about. So that I can lay down some more magnets. So I have a remember note for myself here, so I don't forget the magnets. So then you place two of the magnets here, and here we have the folding. So then we can put this together and place two magnets over here. So them some glue and glue them on. So now we need to be a bit precise here that it meets up all the folding lines. So I'm going to take this off here. Make sure it meets up here. So one here. And we also are going to have the on the back side of the paper. So, and then we can start uh, putting some pattern paper on here. So we can maybe zoom in a bit here. So, and then I have uh, this hinge peeking out this way on my uh, left hand. And we will start with uh, this paper here from the 12 by 12 and I cut it uh, slightly smaller, maybe one eighth of an inch uh, smaller. So this is 2 and 7 8 by 2 and 7 8 about. So we we'll almost go to the edges here. So this was from 12 by 12 and this is from the 6 by 6. Taking some glue on here. So this is going to go on this side. And here we are going to have a window. We can make that after. I think we'll glue on the pattern paper first. So then we can turn it around. And I have cut out some paper here. So I will take some glue on that and be back. So then I've taken some glue on and I'm just using this glue here. 
So then we will start with some uh, red 6x6 six six paper. And this is from the 12x12. 12 12. And then we can start to making the window on the front here. So what I did here, I think I need something behind here. It looks all white. This in behind, so you can see. So I cut a piece of paper that is uh, three by three, and uh, then you need to line up uh, three eight. So it shows more up from all the edges. And uh, here, if, if you, I have a one inch uh, punch here, but if you don't have that, you can cut yourself a piece of uh, paper that's one inch, and then you just, on the lines here, place it all up to the edge and draw around. And you cut from the inside because uh, this pen marks also um, uh, builds up a bit. So. And then you can cut out by hand this and this and this and this. And if you have the punch, you can take that up. Let's see if I can get it close up. You line up the edges like so. And you do that all the way around. a tablet for the window and here you can see the marks builds up a bit so it's a bit wider than the marks here. So um, I'll move this out of the way and uh, here I have the window and I uh, also want uh, some curtains here. I can show you how to make them as well and then <laughs> I think I need this back again so you can see it you on the paper here. So I just line this up almost to both ends and you go from the top here. Just try to draw a curtain like so. So then you cut off these other parts and so. So then you can cut this curtain off like so. And then you got yourself a template so you just flip it around for the other side. So uh, then we can assemble it together and uh, the curtains are from the 6x6 six six paper and um, this I will glue on here but I think maybe I will put uh, this is from the 6x6 six six inside first so we'll see how that goes. And this cat a bit on the outside and I also cut into these cats here on the tail here a bit on the outside here about so. and this off here Also have a little 
little cat here from the 6x6 and also these flowers here. So we'll see when we um, glue it on how it looks. And uh, I'm taking some score tape here. It's fast and easy. can glue it on this paper here and this is from um, uh, the 8x8 so I just think I will take some glue on here right way so and uh get all this cat peeking out here as well and maybe some flowers on the front yeah I think I go for that I can do the on first and see maybe take this in the middle so sort of a flower pot. There's many fun things you can do here. I think I will lift up the cat's tail here. Go over. Just take some glue on the tail here as well. Far too much. side going out of the window so should maybe have zoomed in a bit more so give a close up here how it looks so so I think it's very fun to build a scenes so so it doesn't peak on the outside and also on this side here so and then we can glue this on the fold out glue it on the right way here so this way it won't be the opposite way so the line is up here so yeah and then we can also put some uh, decor inside here so I have a couple of stamps here from the 12 by 12 glue them a bit together like so and put them on the bottom so and here I made a tag and this is from the 6x6 paper and this is made from this template from the 8x8 paper and here I made an eyelet and if you didn't watch uh, the mini album tutorial I can maybe show you one more time how to make that so here I'm using my crocodile so just punch a hole with that like so 
and then I go over with a half inch circle punch. So and then you get yourself an eyelet. This wasn't precise. <laughs> yeah, but you see how it's done. So then we can take care of this inside here. And I also want to have an umbrella in here. And uh, this is photo mat, so I won't glue it down. So I will take some repositional glue. So it can be taken off and placed maybe over the photo. So, so now this is uh, ready to be glued on the page. So, and this I cut to size. And uh, on uh, the left side, side here I measured up. I showed this also in the mini album. How to make this uh, slot here. So I'll just explain it here. So I just uh, measured in 2 inch and uh, cut with my craft knife down, three inches like so. And this is about three quarter inch from the bottom. So three quarter inch up and two inch in. So then we can glue this inside, but I will take some score tape here. But first I think I will have uh, some tape over. Uh, if it's uh, dragged hard in the paper can tear so take mine in the bottom of the oops there I was empty so and I think I will have one over on each side here also so I need to get some more glue And I see I forgot to zoom out, so I'm not sure uh, if I was in frame here, so I will show you one more time. So this is cut up uh, uh, three quarter up and two inch from the side. And you do the opposite on the other side. So then I just used the other side as a template and drew after here, so I didn't have to measure two times. So then we can take uh, this tape. Uh, tape on the sides here as well, so just to be sure it won't tear. So, to cut off a bit here. So, and then I will take some score tape inside here. Give you a close up here how much I cut out, maybe from this side, if you can see it here. So then we can take uh, this inside, like so, and uh, line it up, press real good down. So, and we're lining it up here, so it's the same width here. Then we can take the score tape off. And then I like to secure it with a couple of more <laughs> strips over here. So I'm sure it will stick. And now I mustn't forget the magnets. <laughs> so I'll place them on. And here I'm using 12mm just to be sure it will stick down. So, and then I will take some score tape around, and uh, for all the uh, the album, I um, went all the way. Uh, oh, not the album, the box. Uh, all the pattern paper. I was sure to go all the way to the edge with the glue around. And that's a special, a bit important for the house with a stand inside so the paper won't tear when you take it uh, up and down. So here I just fold it around and press down.
standing up like so. I'm not sure you will see what I'm doing, but I just try to line it up. So, so now we have both these peeking out like so a bit fun. So then we maybe can put this uh, together and start reassembling uh, and decorate it a bit more. So put this on here like so and we will take uh, the front on here and I think I will uh, take my camera down so I uh, film it from another angle so it's uh, maybe more easy to see or maybe we can take Get the top part finished first, I will do that. So then we can take the album inside again. So we can maybe finish up here. So I'll just show you gluing down this one. to line it up. So try to follow the lines here. Here about. So. And uh, I also want a couple of uh, flowers I think here that we maybe can take on later. But for the other side here I will have uh, a shipboard a sort of a standout. So I will use uh, this uh, shipboard here, and here I have uh, a glued a magnet inside that's uh, 12 millimeter, and uh, also glued uh, this ribbon on here inside between these two layers, and some black paper over. And I can maybe tell you how long this uh, is from the end to the other, so we will see if that will fit when we uh, attach it. And it's one quarter from here to the end here. One and one quarter. So, and then I also want a piece uh, behind here. So this will close up, take this out this way. So I just uh, drew around inside and uh, cut a bit on the outside so we can glue this on. side also if you like to or use it as a photo frame and uh, write something inside here. So then we are going to um, fold this over so put it inside here so and uh, place a magnet behind. So here we need to be precise where we place uh, the magnet. Take some tape over here. So, and I think I will have a couple of strips of score tape here so I don't have to hold it till the glue dries. So, here about. So, I won't have 
bit precise in the middle. I go up a bit, maybe one and a quarter from the top. So you can see on the sides here if it lines up, but I need to move it a bit. So, I press down. So now we can see how this works, if it will stand out by itself or if the magnet is too strong. So I was hoping this would stand out. So the magnet will close it up maybe. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll fold back. Maybe shouldn't have had uh, the magnet inside here, but it would stay in place by itself. I think I will try to remove uh, the magnet and see how that works. So, take this out. Because I think maybe this will stand by itself. You don't have to use the magnets here. So it will hold by itself because this is tight here. So we'll press it down again. So then we can start to decorate it a bit more around here and I will flip my camera down. So now I've taken my camera <laughs> down in another angle. So then we can start decorating it some more. And you can leave it like this if you liked, or you can put on some more flowers and so. So here I have a cutout from the 8x8 paper. And uh, we'll glue that on the roof here. So maybe we can put on the sides first and then see how it looks. This flower here is from uh, the 12x12 paper. And I put some glue dots on behind. So, and I will... On the end here we go behind the window, so I will just take some glue there. So try to form it a bit, so we can open it and see how it will work. And I also bent it down a bit here, so this leaf here. So and then I will fold this flower around, so then we can close it up again. And uh, this is also from 12 by 12, I think. Yeah. So I want her on the side here. So we will try to position it here. Let's see. A bit down here about. And I will also fold this flower around the bob dot. So, and uh, also I've cut out this from the 8x8, eight eight, so I think I will have this on the outside maybe. There about. So then we can see how it looks with uh, this on the roof here. Yeah, I think I will go for them. So this I will only glue on. So. So, but. same on the other side. And if I forgot to tell this were from the 8x8 paper pad. A bit more I need to be this glued well down because uh, when we take the album off so it will stay in place. And then we can maybe have an 
umbrella or something here as well. Maybe in the window. But I think it is enough as it is. But maybe some cats on the top here. Sitting here. We can leave them there and <laughs> move around and see what we will do. So here I will use uh, this uh, lady here. So, And uh, this is from the 12 by 12 some repositional glue here. So then I will just glue it in the bottom here so, and on the side here, on the side of the umbrella. And then I place it behind these flowers here. to the end here. So we take some glue behind these flowers. This I didn't glue all the way down because I wanted it to peek over legs on the dog. So to hold it a bit maybe. And uh, could maybe have a flower here as well. This one on the end here to finish it up a bit. So I think maybe I will just glue it in the bottom and on the side here. So just a bit here and here. Can maybe be standing down a bit as well. So some more glue down here. So I just bend it a bit. So about, so now I must be sure not to glue it all down. So let's see if I can find an acetate piece here. Stick behind. cut out uh, from the 12 by 12 paper this love dog and this uh, postcard so I just folded it in half like so so I want this to go behind here so here I see I was a bit early should I maybe wait a bit take some more glue on this this postcard can go behind So, and I uh, also have this. I'm not sure I will use them over the windows yet or maybe place them over here. So we will see. Uh, however we use it, so we'll work a bit around first and see. So then for this uh, side here, this cat's from the 12 by 12 and this uh, flower from 8 by 8. And uh, this flower is from the 12 by 12. So here I've taken some pop dots on. I can glue that on here. So I think I want this on this side and again I bent it a bit down. So about. And uh, maybe just the cats or maybe a flower and the cat. So, and then I need to take some pop dots on this one first. So I think I will have this a bit uh, behind uh, the window. So, I've taken some pop dots here and I will take some glue on the end. Or maybe that's not necessary to take any glue on here. We'll see. So, 
and I've just taken some on the end of the cats here. So I want this to stand behind here. So then I just take some glue on the front here on the cat. Pull it down. And uh, these flowers are also from 8x8. And if I didn't tell it, this was from the 12x12. But we can maybe glue down this cat here from the 12x12. I want him on the side here. And here you can see I cut out this little doggy peeked in the window with some flowers. So. Take him here. so then we can go down these flowers here. So take them in an angle I think. I think it's enough there. We can maybe see if we could use uh, that one piece over the window here. So it won't show up else uh, when we take it off it will show up. So I think I will skip that. So then we can go to the front here. So here I cut out the name of uh, my dog. It's Vimsi. I'm not sure I will keep this uh, myself so uh, I just placed them with a repositional glue there. So on the back here I've taken some score tape so, and I will take some liquid glue in between. So then try to center this up. And uh, here it can be placed uh, a picture of the pet inside, or, uh, so I will just uh, use some repositional glue on uh, this umbrella from the 12x12 paper here, so it can be taken off. So just, oops. So, and... Um, sure if I will glue this down here. So maybe just take some uh, glue dots so I can position it after <laughs> the picture is uh, coming in here. So I'll take uh, this glue dots and try see if it works. Take it on the end inside here. do the same for these uh, cats here. So I just will bend the tail a bit so it will stand here. Position them a bit down here. So. There, about. 
Let me see if we will have some flowers here, or maybe on the ends. Yeah, these I think I will glue down with a glue on the ends only. So. Also here. So it's a bit dimensional standing out in the corner here. So we'll do the same with this flower and these are also from the 8x8. So just take some of the ends here. So I've cut out one more strip from uh, the 8x8 paper uh, and it's uh, 3 inch long and uh, I thought something was missing here and I tried with uh, some flowers and so and uh, it didn't look any good uh, but it will look different when you place a photo inside here but uh, for now I will put this just inside and fasten it with uh, the, um, the glue dots here so I put uh, an extra glue dot Bit, uh, behind here, the legs, and also here. So, can okay, maybe slide this in and see how we get this to work? So, so then it's just fastening the glue dots on the side here. And I also will use uh, this cats here from the 8x8 paper. So, yeah, or I was maybe from the 12x12, no, I'm not sure. It was maybe from the 12x12, so I will just uh, stick them inside here with repositional glue on the top here. see if it's something more needs to have on around here. So, and, uh, and I think I want uh, this ha uh, cats to go on top and this I backed with some black paper. So I think I will have them on top here. Will maybe be a problem when we take uh, this out of the tail here, sticking down, but I think it will work. So, let's see how it goes, yeah. I think I will glue them on the back here. So, here about. Need to hold it a bit. So, so then uh, this house is finished, I think. So uh, here we have the drawer, and there I will maybe uh, make some of uh, the, my leftovers and put inside. And uh, on the back side here, here is a place for a tiny little uh, album. So I'm planning to make a sort of uh, accordion that can be used as a photo frame as well. So uh, I think yeah, I will make a separate video for that. So if you like to follow along to make something to put inside here. I'm uh, jumping back into the video again because I totally forgot to show you how to make uh, this uh, uh, stand uh, or a support for the middle of the stand. So uh, here I cut out uh, four pieces of a shipboard that is seven eight of an inch by seven eight of an inch. And this you can glue together with hinges if you like, like we did 
on the base or you can just uh, take a strip of paper and uh, glue them on so I can show you a bit here fast how to do it so just go all the way to the edge here and uh, the next one so I just put them into each other in. Now you can leave this to dry for a bit but I will just show you real fast here so I'll just fold them all like so and then cut off the rest here. So and then you can use uh, the hinge here to bind them together. So this in over here so and then I took another piece of paper just around and glue around here and when I glued this uh, on I put, took some glue on uh, this uh, shipboard here and glued it on some paper and just cut around it and then I took two hinges inside here so hopefully you can see them and some score tape on top so then we can glue this on the inside and that's uh, just to uh, provide that uh, this feeds here uh, slides out. I've glued them well down but I just want to be sure so maybe you can zoom out a bit here so you can see it all. Take it this way. So then I take a uh, score tape off the hinges. You can use liquid glue here as well. So. I will take some more glue on the side here. So try to center it about. So, oops, and then I will put something heavy on here and let it stay to dry. Like so. <laughs> So I hope this uh, tutorial was inspiring and that you want to give it a try or maybe use some of the ideas. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, look below the video. There you will find some information how I answer questions. And you will also find the link to my blog for the measurements. So uh, take care everyone and have fun creating. Bye bye.